the deluge. My mankind in its destruction I will. To Nintu we will return thee of my creatures. We will return the people to their settlements. Of the cities, verily, they will build their places of divine ordinances. We will make peaceful their shade. Of our houses, verily, they will lay their bricks in pure places. The places of our decisions, verily, they will found in pure places. He directed thee of the Temenos, perfected the rites and the exalted divine ordinances. After Anu, Enlil, Anki, and Nehersag had fashioned the black-headed people, vegetation luxuriated from the earth. Animals, four-legged creatures of the plain, were brought artfully into existence. After the of kingship had been lowered from heaven, after the exalted tiara and the throne of kingship had been lowered from heaven, he perfected the rites and the exalted divine ordinances founded the five cities in pure places, called their names, apportioned them as cult centers. The first of these cities, Eridu, he gave to Nudimud, the leader. The second, Bad Tabira, he gave to. The third, Larak, he gave to Endeavil Hersag. The fourth, Sipper, he gave to the hero Utu. The fifth, Shirupat, he gave to Sud. When he called the names of these cities, apportioned them as cult centers, he brought established the cleaning of the small rivers as the flood. Thus was treated. Then did Nintu weep like a the pure Inanna set up a lament for its people. Anki took counsel with himself. Anu, Enlil, Anki, and Nehersag, the gods of heaven and earth, uttered the name of Anu and Enlil. Then did Ziosudra, the king, the priest, build giant Humbly, obedient, reverently, attending daily, constantly he, bringing forth all kinds of dreams he, uttering the name of heaven and earth he, the gods a wall, Ziosudra standing at its side listen, stand by the wall at my left side, by the wall I will say a word to thee, take my word, give ear to my instruction, by hour a flood will sweep over the cult centers, to destroy the seed of mankind, is the decision, the word of the assembly of the gods, by the word commanded by Anu and Enlil. Its kingship, its rule will be put to an end. All the wind storms, exceedingly powerful, attacked as one. At the same time, the flood sweeps over the cult centers. After, for seven days and seven nights, the flood had swept over the land and the huge boat had been tossed about by the windstorms on the great waters. Utu came forth, who sheds light on heaven and earth. Zia Sidra opened a window of the huge boat. The hero Utu brought his rays into the giant boat. Zia Sidra the king prostrated himself before Utu. The king kills an ox, slaughters a sheep. Ye will utter, breath of heaven, breath of death, verily it will stretch itself by your Anu and Enlil uttered, breath of heaven, breath of earth, by there it stretched itself. Vegetation coming up out of the earth rises up. Ziusudra the king prostrated himself before Anu and Enlil. Anu and Enlil cherished Ziusudra. Life like that of a god they gave him. Breath eternal like that of a god they bring down for him. Then Ziusudra the king, the preserver of the name of vegetation, and of the seed of mankind. In the land of crossing, the land of Dilmun, the place where the sun rises, they caused to dwell.